Hello and welcome. I'm Marie from Crafty Landing and I'm here with you today to share my very first design team project for the Graphics Fairy. Oh, I'm very excited but also nervous, so please bear with me. We are going to do a flip through and I will explain what I've used from the Graphics Fairy site. Now, the Graphics Fairy site is a premium membership site. Um, and you will find a variety of vintage and digital graphics images that you can use in all your arts and crafts work. Um, and I'm talking thousands. There are thousands of images. It's a really superb site. Um, go over and have a look. And you can also use the search function to um, look for something more specific. Um, so that's good as well. If you if you get there and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with it all, just search for a few things and the Graphics Fairy then will come up with lots of bundles that you might find what you're looking for inside. Um, yes, yeah, so go and have a look. Um, I'm fortunate that the Graphics Fairy have given me free membership for being part of their design team. Um, so today I'm going to show you Touch of Blur and it's a mostly neutral journal with touches of blue hence the name a touch of blur and for the closure here i have used a gorgeous image from a book that i recently acquired full of um french portrait artwork it's gorgeous isn't it and i've named her law which is french form of laura and law is holding her little puppy dog there in her arms isn't it gorgeous and I've used some Brodery um, Anglaise um, to use as the tie closure. So I'm just going to place Laura there like that, leave her there. And once you remove her, you will see that the very first page on my cover is this beautiful, delicate shoe here. This is actually a page from the French Blue and Cream bundle um, and before printing, I shrunk it down. I did two to a page, which gave me then smaller pages when it's printed off. And this beautiful, delicate shoe, I imagine Laura wearing to a dance or a party. It's beautiful, isn't it? And on the back, there's some blue inked paper, which I've done myself for journaling. And then this piece of ephemera here is from the Favourite French Things bundle. And I've printed that off and again backed it with some tea stain paper. And this one here is also from Favourite French Things and you can do some writing there. So all these will close like that and I love the staggered look. And that is the front cover. And some card from my own stash which matches the colour theme of the book. And then the front page here inside we have um, this beautiful image which I imagine Law to be friends with or a member of her family. And I've just collaged it up with some lace trim and a button and backed it on tea stain paper. That is from the Cream and Green Ephemera Bundle. And the French Blue and Cream Bundle um, is where this piece of ephemera is from. And I've just grunged it up a little bit to make it look even more old and backed it on some book paper and made a little collage here. And those two um, clip on this lovely lace pocket here. And I just love the layered look here and how it looks on that page. And that is a lot that I do in my journals. I think about how they all look together when they're staggered up onto the page. And on the reverse side here, um, on the reverse, I printed off the tattered water stained page. Um, from the blank paper set in the printables. So that also is from the Graphics Fairy site and I've just cut out this flower and stuck that on in the corner. This journal page here is one of my own collage pages using images from the Graphics Fairy site. And I like doing that, if I show you here, this one is a journal page that you can print off complete like that from the site and that one is from the French Blue and Cream bundle. However, I also like to make my own journal pages using individual images from the site and I just layer them up, position them where I want them and then I print it off. So I've made my own journal pages. This is a book page image and this is an invoice image 
and another piece of ephemera and this little one here and I've just laid it up and printed it off. So I love the fact that you can do that with the Graphics Fairy images and that's how I've made this journaling page here. Again on the reverse side I've used some more of that um, water stained tattered page. Now here we have a collage page, page slightly narrower because again I like this waterfall staggered effect here, the way it looks. Um, things things grab your attention don't they and your eyes go to here and what's peeking out and it tells the brain that it wants a closer look so I always like doing pages of varying sizes um, and heights in my journal. Um, this blue one here is a collaged um, flip up page so it flips up like that that's a tea stain page there and there's some journaling room on the back here and I did this by selecting some papers from the French Blue and Cream bundle um, to use in the background. This Frisian lady from my own stash, I cut her out full length and stuck her on. Um, and then I used this little tag here. Um, and that one um, has come from the French Blue and Cream bundle as well. And on the reverse side, so, oh, this is a genuine vintage ticket here, used as a tab to help me turn over the page. Tea stain page, and here we have um, a French delivery tag, and this one is from the French Blue and Cream tag set, and I've just tied them on with some twine, which can be undone, and then you can do some journaling on the back. So I like tags hanging from the top of the page there. Um, and I've just got a piece of embossed paper there. Um, some book pages and I've just made a little cluster here um, to hold these beautiful dresses, which I imagine Laura wearing to a party. And these are from the French and blue, the French blue and cream couture sheet of dresses. And you get lots and lots of dresses that you can cut out and use, aren't they pretty? and I just pop them in that little clustered corner there on the book page. More book page and on the reverse um, I folded the book page slightly over so that I could clip some items in um, and I've used a pink check here and that's from the fabulous French ephemera bundle and also this piece of ephemera is from the French, favourite French things and you will notice that it is the same one that I have used on the front here, but again, I've just printed it off slightly smaller so that I could use it within the journal. And there is some vintage writing paper there. So that is on that book page. Let me just put the clip back in, oops, like that. And on this side, so you can see like the staggered look here, um, on this side we have an envelope, a little small envelope, about 80c size, and this is from the French Floral Engravings 80c envelopes, um, and I've placed it with a journaling card on a shorter page here, so that you can get a peek of what's coming behind. And on the reverse side, the back of that um, journal page is a collage sheet that I've used from my stash and this note card here and this note card is of a chateau and it's from the chateau note paper printables and you get four to a sheet of those so when you print it off there will be four and I've just backed that onto some tea stained paper. Paper from my own stash and the reverse is some more blank papers in the printables and at the top here I've just added a French label for some interest. The blue letter is from my own stash and tea stained on the reverse next to some tea stained paper and I've just used a strip of collage here and I've added some lace trim here with a butterfly charm there. And here we have a favourite, favourite pages of mine from this journal. I love the way they're staggered, the different sizes, 
that you can see some of what's coming underneath. I really, I just love, love this bit here. So this um, is from the French Blue and Cream background. And um, I have added a frame here, as you can see, and that frame has come from the Vintage Album Frames bundle. And I've just embellished it with a flower, some embossed paper, and a trim there and added this picture of these two ladies chatting and they're probably friends of law don't you think having a little bit of a chit chat there and it's actually a tag so if we take the tag off I've put some cardstock on the back ready to write on and I've added a doily and some poem um, pages from a poem book here now the page that it's on the journal page that I've attached it to is actually from the French floral engravings bundle and I don't know if you can see but there are some very delicate grey lines here and an image the graved image on the paper and I've done the same on the reverse side and it is beautiful so that's from the French floral engraving bundle and I'll just pop that back on there and that's just I've got a paper clip securing it in place and then this one here is a collage tag that I've made myself and I've placed that on some ledger paper here vintage ledger paper here you can see the number of the page there I've got a blue ink dyed paper here which I've done myself with a die cut pocket and I've just added some bits and pieces um, that can be used throughout the journal or for writing on and I've just popped them in there again different heights different sizes to give it a staggered look and here we have a piece um, of ephemera and this has come from the French attic ephemera bundle on the graphics fairy site and this is a bookmark um, and the French bookmarks you get four or five on a sheet when you print them off and they're from the mini French ephemera bundle um, and they go in there like that. And on this side, the reverse side, there's a lace pocket um, and I have some ephemera from my own stash, tea stained on the back, ready for writing on and that's from my own stash. So that can be for extra journaling as can the back of the page there. And here we have a postcard and a bird image. Now, both of these, the bird is a separate image and the postcard is a separate image and they're both from the French blue and cream bundle. And what I did was I placed the bird on the postcard where I wanted it to be, resized it, positioned it correctly where I wanted it and then printed it off. So um, if I wanted the bird to be on that side I could have done that and because I can also rotate and flip the images so the bird could be facing that way if I wanted it to and I love the fact that you can manipulate the um, images from the site it's great so I have paper from my own stash here that colour matches and then this is an envelope made with a collage sheet from the French papery bundle so that piece there is from the French papery bundle. And I like the collage sheets because the um, site, the Graphics Fairy site gives them to you in a square. So you could print that off 12 by 12, but it also gives them to you landscape and portrait. So you get different dimensions, which you can then use um, and to what you want to do in your work. And I've used the butterfly collage sheet um, as an envelope here. And I've just popped in some writing papers there. And the closure of the envelope is actually part of my centre spread. Um, and how I've done that is I have um, used a French grocery drugstore receipt, which has come from the Provence bundle. Um, so there's lots of different bundles. And that's what I mean about using the search um, function if you search for something say French ephemera it will then give you all the bundles that you will find some French ephemera in 
and um, and images and then it um, if you click on it you can find out which bundle it has come from so this is a grocery dog store receipt which I've printed off from the Provence bundle but I've also printed it off with this flower here and this has come a uh, begonia begonia flower from the butterfly garden collection and that's where that's come from and I've just put it there printed it off so that's my center spread tea stained on this side with a piece of torn collage paper paper from my own stash and I have a butterfly journaling card here and this butterfly has come from the butterfly ephemera collage sheet in printables and oh my goodness you get some gorgeous butterflies here we go it's come from this sheet here look how many you get all different ones it's beautiful isn't it so that's from the butterfly ephemera collage sheet and on the reverse of the paper here i have um, a journal card that i made with um, french text from the tattered paper treasures bundle um, and I liked this one because it looks like it had old tape down the side here. So that's come from the Tattered Paper Treasures bundle and I've clipped that on and I've also put some delicate music paper there and some more vintage writing paper just there. The other side of that um, lace pocket and I've just included some embossed paper and a blue journaling card. Turn over the blue ink stained page here, which I've done myself, and I've collaged it up with a cut out flower. And um, this piece is some ledger paper here with a flip over. So this is a flip over, and I've used a French oil lamp check, um, and that has come from the French ephemera bundle. And I've just collaged up the inside using some labels from the French label sheet. Um, and they all, they do these in um, a grunge as well. So if you like the more grungy effect, there is a sheet as well. Um, and um, that is on some leisure, um, ledger paper, sorry. So here I've made a tag using my own die cuts and I put um, some embossed card at the top there and I've attached to it some tags, two tags. One from the French Blue and Cream bundle and the other one is from, this one here is from the Mini French Ephemera bundle. I've just added some trim and button there and I've attached them using a split pin, a brad. So I like the swivel effect here on the tag. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, so that is there. On the reverse, I've just cut out a Prussian lady from my own stash and glued her there. And that is another page from the um, French floral engravings printables. Tea stained paper there with a ledge, uh, lace edge, sorry, lots of room for journaling and on the reverse I've used one of those um, French labels again, a different one. The blue letter from my own stash and I've added a flower before printing and there's just, so I printed the French floral engravings on the reverse and another cut out flower there. And here, um, stained effect paper, sorry, the reverse, this page here is some more stained effect paper from the blank paper printables. Um, so if you don't like doing your own tea staining or haven't got time to do your own tea staining, you can quickly print some off from the Graphics Fairy site. They have lots to choose from in the blank paper bundle. Here I've made a tag and using elements from the French Blue and Cream bundle and a paper ruffle here and I've just cut out a few of those elements, stuck them on and have a wax seal down here. So that is a tag, extra large tag there. And on the reverse I have one of those bookmarks that I showed you earlier and this time I've stuck on a vase from the Gilded Age bundle. Um, and this is something I feel Law would have in her house. How very, very lovely. So that's another bookmark. And I have a genuine vintage envelope here, an original rolled envelope that flips open. 
and you will find some note paper here with a little bit of that aged paper at uh, tape sorry and the paper here is from the forget me not collection and you get two to a sheet on those and here i've just made a pocket and added some extra things in the pocket and these images are from the Fre favorite french things bundle um and that one there is from the favorite french theme uh, things bundle and i've just popped her on there and this one here is from the french frame collage sheet and you get these in different colors and i have that here to show you here we are and i've cut this one out the blue one out to match my journal but these are just beautiful so that's the french frame collage sheet which you will find in printables um, and I've cut that out and popped those in that pocket there, which flips open and closes. And then on the other side, um, this is actually a journal page from the French Blue and Cream bundle. So I've cut the half the journal page out and I've stuck her on there. It's beautiful, isn't it? And on the opposite page here, I've attached like a trifold um page like that and I've attached it to a book page and on the top part of it I have um, collaged uh, another image from my art book and I imagine Law and her are friends um, and I've collaged her up um, using some of the um, small uh, um, some of the items sorry from the French blue and cream collection and I've added the Paris label here and a little lace tab, which tells you you've got to pull it open. And here I've got a, um, a book page with holding the original photo of a woman and a baby. And I imagine she might be a family member of law. So book page turn over there. And we have the smaller book page here. And I've just stuck on um, image of ladies chatting. And as I said before, I imagine law having um, coffee and chatting and partying with her lady friends. Tea stain page with some lace trim, the broidery on glaze here, and I've added a clock charm. And on the reverse is another butterfly. This time it's from the tattered paper treasures bundle. And there's that sheet. So some of these had the colors that I was using, the blue colors. So I've cut one out and stuck it there and this page here is another journal page um, of the water stain effect and I have a cabinet card which I've backed and a blue French receipt from the European bundle so this one here is from the European bundle and I folded it torn it and put some of my aged tape there and you can journal on the back and we've got the cabinet card here which I've also backed and they go on there like that on the water stained journal page and on the reverse side I have the I made a pocket for this long tag let me take that out so I've made this pocket here using some bird paper and the bird paper um, you will find in the spring embroidery printables and they do it in different colours and I've made a tag using the same cardstock as the journal cover and I've attached a small tag here from the French blue and cream bundle and I like the way that when that's in there oh it's got stuck I like the way it just hangs in there. So again, this is the tattered water stained page in the blank papers in printables. And I've just placed that beautiful delicate shoe just down there. And there is the lace pocket on the reverse side. And I have some French ephemera in there. This one is the sunset French text, which actually is in one of the latest bundles in Graphics Fairy from the Sunset Hues. So that's from the Sunset Hues and I've just got another piece of 
French ephemera in there as well, and that's the back page. And that actually has also come from the French floral engravings um, paper set because they do them in different colours. So here is my beautiful journal and I hope you've enjoyed, oh, let me, I'll put that back in a minute. I hope you've enjoyed the flip through and I hope you've enjoyed um, having a little look at her with me. Um, thank you and I shall see you next time. Bye.